Today I have a new product for you that was brought to me by Kickstarter. And this replaces the beloved Chemex. Sorry, this is a little dusty, it's a little bit old. And the thing that we are gonna be reviewing is the new pour-over system from Mir. Uh, Mir is a company that's known for uh, travel tumblers and they also have a pretty collapsible one. And recently on Kickstarter, they released this along with a scale and along with a kettle. Uh, this is a stovetop kettle. So I'm gonna be talking about every single one of these and whether or not you should buy it. One of the questions is, is I'm kind of surprised I bought it myself with the fact that I don't do pour overs very often. But I think this is actually like somewhere around $60 or so. Like this entire package costs well over $100 for me. Uh, so before we get into this, I just wanna say welcome to Kabeen's Coffee Corner. If you could please like and subscribe, that really helps me continue navigating reviews and letting you know what gear I prefer and what gear I don't. So if you could really please like and subscribe, that really helps me a lot. I also have an Instagram account. You can follow me there as well. Link in the description below. And if you're looking at purchasing these, I will make a slight commission at no extra charge to you that goes back into YouTube. So the Chemex has been around for a long, long time. Um, it's glass. It's cool. Um, it was kind of one of my starter brewers. Uh, I got a V60 at first and then quickly jumped over to the Chemex just because it looks really, really neat. This is a very, very old one that I found at a thrift store um, and it's a kind of larger one. I think it's eight or I think it might be eight cups, um, but it's a good, good brewer. The problem with the Chemex though is it can break and it has no heat retention built into it. That's where Mir decided to solve the problem where they made this dual walled, um, basically a Chemex. I believe you can use Chemex filters though, though they sell their own. It has a little stopper on the inside of it to help you prevent um, what's going on. The prevent spillage or keep heat in there and then this bottom part is dual walled. Um, and the unique thing about the Chemex is it goes along with some of Mir's other things that they have. So this is their 360 uh, lid mug. So I'm just gonna take this off here and um, they have a couple other different lids that would be more beneficial for this. But you can unscrew this and then you can take your lid from any of your mugs and simply put it on this. And now I got a leak proof Chemex or a leak proof uh, carafe. So I brew pour over at home, taking this on a go, taking it to a friend's house. I now have a small carafe of coffee. Um, this apparently holds 33 ounces. So that'd be enough for about three cups of coffee, um, depending on the size or four if you wanted to stretch it into some eight ounce cups. Um, and then I can simply just press this and now I can pour directly. There are some mirror ones that have a handle on top of it and then so I just simply unscrew that and then I can screw that back on and I can use it as a pour over um, as well. That was a terrible way to thread it. There you go. It fits perfectly on this nice scale right in the center. The, the nicest thing about the scale that I like is this is clearly designed for pour over as there is a nice little circle indent on there and a circle indent on the top of it. There are some like white things here um, in there on there that almost kind of made it look like dirt when I first got it. It kind of holds on to the top so the um, pad is not going anywhere. Um, you can weigh to the tenth of a gram and you can time it as well. And it holds about 3,000 grams. Um, it's a nice scale. It's perfect for pour over. If you're looking for a not a Kaya scale um, and you only do pour over, I would say this is a good one to go because it does. I really like this circle cutout to make sure you get your uh, carafe centered in it. Um, now we go into the pour over um, kettle and it's simple. You just put water in it, put it on the stove. It's got a nice thermometer on the top of it. I do love the thermometer on how big and large and easy it is to read. Um, goes in there super well. Um, the handle is not the most comfortable. I do like the looks of it, matches well, um, but like stovetop kettles are never my go-to anyway. Um, this is actually the first one I've ever owned. I typically use an electric kettle, but if you are looking for a stovetop, I mean, it gets the job done. I don't have anything to compare it to really. Flow rate's fine, but the comfort of it isn't huge. Um, so if it's close to the stag uh, pour over kettle, uh, stovetop kettle, I would probably go with the stag even if it's a little bit more because the handle's more ergonomically sound. Now coming on to the pour over itself. Um, it's okay. It's okay meaning 
Uh, it's nice because it's built well. You never have to worry about dropping it and breaking it. Um, it's an easy one to travel with if you want the whole carafe and pour over system in one. Uh, some people just put a pour over over their cup, whatever works for them. Um, like it's nice, uh, it's well built. The problem I have with it is right here. When you grab it right here, which is typically where you would grab a Chemex, um, the Chemex is not like I can hold it well, it's comfortable, it's not slipping on my hand at all, and it's not too hot to grab. What I found is their pad on here, whatever they did for this piece of plastic, is not thick enough here. It seems like it's kind of like a collar over it. It does look like a collar over it all. I don't know how it moves or pops off or how they got it on there, but it is too hot for me to particularly hold um, and not feel like it's burning my hand, which makes it very, very inconvenient to me. And if you slap this thing on there, then you basically have to hold it like 32 ounces like this. Um, the way to go, in my opinion, is if you have the one that has like a handle on the top, then you could hold it from the handle. Uh, but overall, just even brewing with this and it being dual walled stainless steel, it, yeah, it does keep it hot longer. That's never a problem with me. I've never just been like, man, I really just want to bring a Chemex full of coffee to me. I would just buy, I think I have it back there somewhere in the corner, um, a Stanley 30 ounce uh, thing I paid like 20 bucks for. Um, it might be higher now because Stanley's kind of taken off with those water bottles, but I would just buy one of those or I would just put it in a large Yeti tumbler. Everybody has tumblers lying around and just bring two tumblers if you have, if you don't have a 30 ounce one and brew with a Chemex. Um, you can probably buy a 30 ounce um, dual walled stainless steel thing uh, and a Chemex for $60 for the price of this. Um, it looks sleek, all the stuff matches, they did it well, but ultimately it didn't solve a need that I have, um, which kind of makes me question why I even bought this to begin with. Um, but it looks nice, but uncomfortable to hold um, and pour from because it's just too hot right here and you can really, like, it's dual walled here, so this is fine, but as soon as you get up top, you're at the single walled portion and it's just too hot because you're having hot water connect right here the entire time as you brew. Um, it pours nice into a thing. You never have to, like if you're really concerned about breaking your Chemex, um, because I did have friends, I think he went through a couple of Chemex when we were in college. So if that's you, this might be the way to go. But if it's not you, then I'd maybe look elsewhere uh, for things and go from there. Yeah, more per, mere per, pour over carafe thing. It's just okay. Scale, it's a good price. I like it for pour overs. It might be my go-to recommendation for pour overs unless you want to shell up for an Akaya and the kettle itself, also just okay. Nothing crazy here, kind of disappointing. I'm kind of wish this video was better and I was more excited for it, which if you know me, typically I do get pretty excited for products and this is just unfortunately not one of them. But yep, that's what I have here for you. If you have any questions, wanna know anything about any of this, please let me know and I would love to help you out for that. And if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.